Hi, it's Mitz for My Life Mitz. I hope you are doing well. Okay, so this is going to be a very chatty, all over the place type of video. In my previous, I, I will leave the link down below, but I was talking about using up the washi tape that I have. And so this is my collection over the years of washi tapes that I have used up. And I have been deliberately making these washi tape sample cards so that I can use up the washi tapes. <laughs> and these are the new ones that I have uh, thankfully used. I've used them up in uh, washi tape sample cards, like I said. So recently I have signed up for a class by Romani's Realm and it's called Spring, Cro Spring Chronicles. <laughs> Spring Chronicles. And um, yeah, they're the wonderful people there, uh, part of the group, are they are all kind of doing their spring cleaning and uh, reviewing the things that they no longer need or things that they're holding on to that they no longer need. And I found it, I'm finding it very helpful. It's still going on uh, the class. So um, it's just hard to find the time to dedicate time to do that right now because of spring break with the kids. But yeah, the recent ones I have... Um, Thankfully, used up several washi tape, uh, several washi tape rolls, making these little washi tape sample cards. And like I mentioned in the other video, I just sit whenever I have time. If I'm, if we need to go somewhere in the car and I have 30 minutes or 20 minutes, uh, I will bring this little thing with me, with some washi tape and some. I recycle, <laughs> I recycle my uh, Kleenex boxes here and uh, things from packaging that I could easily wrap. Uh, this is packaging from like a Starbucks, Starbucks packaging. And you can see here, this is from a Kleenex box. I will just cut it up into rectangles and I will use that to wrap <laughs> my washi tape. And then I have the Kokuyo Oh, I forgot the name of this, but it's it cuts the washi tape. Sometimes I'll bring like the small. Oh, I have my scissors here. This one here, if because this one doesn't go on, it doesn't clip onto the wider washi tape. So that's what I will do. I'll just sit in the car instead of you know on my phone. I will sit in the car. We'll chat, and I'll just roll <laughs> washi tape cards. Um, so that's what I've been doing, and it's so satisfying to physically see a box like this and I think now that it's pretty much full I will maybe actually I'll, I'll think of some kind of craft <laughs> something crafty to do with the kids with these washi rolls then I will um, yeah I'll make use of them somehow but I think I will use this box to create a capsule some type of monthly stationary capsule where I, where I will have some inks and some maybe rubber stamps that I can use for the month um, and then I'll also have some washi tapes that I can use for the month as well and I, I really like I said I really want to use more rubber stamps and um, having them out in a specific area will be very helpful I think and so that's I guess that's my little blurb on these washi tape cards and uh, thank you so much for those people that have uh, commented on the coffee. I have, I don't believe I replied to everybody, but I did send everybody the uh, washi tape cards there. Okay, so let's move on to my, I wanted to uh, work a little bit in my gratitude journal. And I'll, I also want to stamp out these lovely, or these ones I already stamped out, but I still want to journal about uh, some stuff in my gratitude journal. And some more. I find that rolling them out, uh, for my purpose, uh, rolling them out onto cards, they're easily accessible. If you just stick them into like your uh, journal sleeve. Sorry about that, I got a little distracted. So I'm just opening up the packaging for the Black Milk Project stamps. And maybe I'll put them in my gratitude journal or my junk journal, we'll see. 
and uh, yeah so while I have you here I'm just unwrapping these oh this is the Japan Post one here so yes like I said having the washi tape sample cards rolled out it's a lot easier to carry a card of washi tape instead of having to carry for example this is one two three four wall four rolls of washi <laughs> just roll a couple of times and then you have them on the go so yes let's move on to stamping these out and swatching them on and preparing my gratitude journal for the week um, I was also going to prepare April because I it's almost April and I haven't done that yet and I might do that probably in a separate like off camera because it's just I already filmed this before it's just me stamping on numbers and there's nothing to it so I'll probably have to do that uh, off camera I forgot to add the tab for March so let's do that together this is from the Travelers Company. You know how they come in the sticker sticker sets? It's called the Customize Sticker Set. Um, I don't remember what year this is from, but I'm using the smaller size, and so I'm using that for March. Then I'll have to prepare April soon because it's almost April. <laughs> All right, so let's put that back in there. Sometimes this um, flips up because it's on the washi, so I'm going to make sure that this time it's not on the washi tape. Let's see, I don't want to overlap it, so... Maybe somewhere around here. March has been extremely busy. Uh, it's the end of year for Japan here, and... Uh, end of school season and spring break and just lots to kind of uh, tie up some loose ends and just so I find I'm finding it so exhausting <laughs> this month uh, for me and so I didn't really now that I see it I did uh, <laughs> February this way and then three on the other side oh well that's okay but yeah like I said like I was saying I didn't really work in here often uh, it was just way too busy, but that's totally okay. I did print out some fun things, and so I hope to include that in here. I think I'm just going to journal, and I don't think I'm going to write any actual dates. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll do dates, but I'll, I will just journal and then just kind of like a... Uh, I don't know how you would say it but just like a journal purge in a way just kind of um, stick down what I've been keeping and so yes so just I've been holding all, all these uh, stickers and things and I, I don't know if I want to put in my junk journal or if I want to put them in my gratitude but I think I'll just kind of trickle them throughout both places and I don't know if I showed you my junk journal recently so let's quickly share with you I know I did these journal spreads here and I still have to write about that but yeah so I did add a couple of things I think this one actually doesn't really match I was gonna put it in here um, but this is about his robot so <laughs> I'll put this one in here um, it's I think the Sakura drinks are all finished for Starbucks this season so I will put it in here it's kind of like back journaling or so yeah there's the washi tape photo there and I also have a couple of things stuck in here um, but I think I'm gonna just kind of go back and forth and I think I'll do the junk journaling separately so these ones I pulled out they might not fit in to my gratitude journal but that's okay um, just have a nice journal session I, I don't think I have a lot of time uh, before the kids get home <laughs> but yeah let's stamp out some of these beautiful stamps from 
black milk project. I think I want to somehow keep these and maybe sew something. I think that would be so fun. So let's put this in my junk journal, these fabric pieces. Oh, this one is so pretty. The This is the, oh, what is this one called? I think the jar of stars. Um, that's very, very pretty. Okay, so let's pick out a, oops, I have all these little fabric pieces here. Let's pick out a stamp color for the, let's pick out this navy. I think this is pretty flat. Should be okay. I should get my Hobonichi out because I know I'm going to do like a second generation stamp in it. Uh, I'm gonna get this out prepared. <laughs> let's pick a page. Here, there's nothing here. So let's stamp here. Sorry, I forgot to mention, this is the Versafine in the Majestic Blue. That's very pretty. And it's a very nice substantial size. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do the second generation stamping. I think I didn't push hard enough there, so the ink kind of remained on the ink on the stamp. Um, but let's see if there's enough ink left to create a second generation stamp here on the Hobonichi. Oh, it's perfect. All right, so, and so I think to kind of prepare for the next weeks ahead, I want to stamp out this one here. Uh, let's see what color we should choose. Yeah, let's go for this one. so nice okay let's do one here oh I lifted it up a bit oh that's nice that's really pretty let me show you a close-up of it so that you can take a look you can see there it's very very pretty okay so let's journal or let's add some photos that I wanted to where did I place my photos? Here they are. So I wanted to document the roll of washi tapes. I don't know, I'm thinking of a craft idea for the kids. What can we do to use? You can use some to stamp things, but I'm wondering if there's something that we can make using all those empty rolls. If you glue some of them, maybe you can make a pen stand? Hmm. <laughs> if you have any ideas, please let me know. I don't think I'm going to throw them all away yet. Um, I'm going to try and do more research, see if there's something that I can use. I don't want to just toss them out. Uh, I might have to eventually toss them out, but yeah, I hope there's something that I can make. Uh, using those washi tape rolls. <laughs> There's this one. Let's get my glue. I'm just going to do the quick and easy dot liner. And oh, these are so pretty. So this year, I don't know if they do this every year, but Starbucks had this like 
um, you had to take a picture of the QR code and then this oh I don't know how you would say this this image would pop up and uh, you can take a picture of it with the Starbucks item <laughs> and it's kind of like 3d in a way it's it was really fun and interesting uh, so I took a screenshot of that and yeah they had different images so this one there's the Starbucks mascot bear thing with the sakura trees and then there was uh, one with the mascot and uh, doing some kind of work I don't really remember but uh, it was I thought that was very cute and of course people take pictures and post it on uh, social media um, I think it's a good marketing thing but uh, anyways also yes this one too maybe this will be in a different week or I can tip this in so let's not cut it out yet huh? and these oh there's another Starbucks oh there's this one too there's a lot of things I've been keeping here yeah this one didn't turn out really nicely uh, I wanted to take it with I wanted to take this picture with the the beverage but that didn't really turn out that nice so I think I might just tip it in on the side over here I'll add some washi tape and tip that in do they have those special I don't know what you would call it um, special effects yeah do they have that in your area do they have seasonal drinks and um, seasonal like little fun little animation things like that I know um, recently I think it was last year was the first year or was it two years ago where Japan started to finally uh, make the pumpkin spice latte and then I had it once and then it's something that I don't I don't really remember the exact flavor but I feel like it's it was a little off or maybe it's just me it's been so long that I've been here but and then these very cute uh, printables um, I forgot her name kitty oh gosh kitten I'll have to kitten chops I think is the name I have to leave that linked down below but it's so cute and this is really nice all things wonderful are readily available yeah that's cute I really do like the seasonal items here Japan is really good with um, marketing like you know just only this season or <laughs> they really get you with that uh, only like a limited time only <laughs> I find that they're very good at that. Um, let's see if we can stamp some of these cute stamps. I will choose this color again. Yeah, some of their limited drinks are really nice, just like the regular drinks that are sold in the convenience stores. And Let's get my hobonichi again. <laughs> Stamp out some. Oh, this effect is really nice too. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Um, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that effect is really nice as well. Like kind of stepping like this. That turned out really really nice I think and so there's that one and maybe something over here although it's not really sakura but let's try a butterfly the allergies are still very bad here for us especially my son my son has it really bad <laughs> This year, he's been really struggling. He wakes up at night as well. Okay. These things I think I want to 
keep in my junk journal. Um, yeah, these ones I'm gonna probably stick in my junk journal here off to the side. This one, I'm not sure if there's... This one, I don't know if there is a way to... Maybe I'll tip this one in. Because, oh, it's a little too... Let's cut it out. Uh, cut off the edges a little bit. It's a beautiful gift from Connie. Peppercorn Arts uh, for my birthday and it's um, I've already started using it for quite some time now it's like a it was a pretty tote and uh, the colors are so 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 vibrant and nice on them and um, I think that's good maybe I'll trim a little bit at the top here but yeah so I wanted to I've been holding on to this packaging for quite some time then I finally took out my junk journal recently so I think it's perfect for putting it in my junk journal but I also want to keep this as a memory maybe I'll put it in here I'll tip that in here 